Hey guys, Ty here from Mother Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your Samsung Exhibit 2 4G from T-Mobile. Now this route does take uh, a bit of your time, and uh, before we get onto the screencast, I'll have a box that will pop up and take over the screen, uh, explaining what all you'll need, and of course all the links to what you need will be provided in the description, or also known as show notes. Real quick to show you though, that we do have uh, root on this phone. Here we have terminal emulator, which usually is not on unless you have a root. Sorry if it focuses in and out a lot. And I also have super user. Uh, and just so people know, we will do a root check basic on the phone. Let it focus. All right, verify root. All right, and as you can see, this device has been rooted. So this does work. Uh, this is a video that's been requested a lot, is how to root the Samsung Exhibit 2, as it is very hard to root it. Um, and maybe in a future video, I'll show you how to install a custom ROM onto it as well. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm okay with the basic ROM for now. Uh, but having root access now is a nice perk. So let's get on with the actual screencast. What you will need to root your device. Drivers for your phone, a USB cable, USB debugging turned on, Zerg root in about 10 minutes of your time. Alright, now that you know that to root the Samsung Exhibit 2 is possible, I'm going to show you the two files you will need. Now, you necessarily won't need this file on the left, it just depends if your computer recognizes the phone drivers already. Mine, however, didn't, and this is the TMO T759ADB tether drivers, and basically all it does is when you plug in a USB device it will recognize your phone so I will have a link to both of these files to download and I'm going to show you step by step of what you would need to do now obviously since I've already done this to my phone I can't give you the full process however you will have the basic concept on how to root your own device now once you install the TMO T759 drivers and extract the files you will see all of this. What you need to click on is set up. Now before you can do this I'd go ahead and enter your phone into USB de uh, debugging. Now if you don't know how to do this uh, it is actually quite simple. What you need to do is hit your settings key, go under applications and once you reach applications go to development and make sure you hit check mark the USB debugging so when the USB device is on it is debugging uh, and then once you have done that and the USB cord is plugged into your phone go ahead and click yes and as you can see uh, it's already installed so I need to install it first before I can reinstall it but since I already have it installed there's no reason to but it takes about a couple minutes to actually install the drivers itself uh, for Windows to check for updates as well so once that is done, come on over here and you will see that we have a couple of files um, from the Zerg rush route. Now again, links to this will be in the descriptions. And there's only two files you really need to pay attention. Make sure your phone is still in debugging and you want to click on ADB first, click run. And as you can see, I don't have my phone plugged in, but it actually went ahead and ran through all of the scripts in the ADB files. And then once that is finished and the command prompt closes, go ahead and click on uh, Zerg Rush Temp Root and hit Run. Now as you can see, it's waiting for a device. My device is not plugged in, so it won't recognize it. And the only reason why I haven't done that is because I already have my phone rooted. However, it takes roughly five minutes for everything to run on this. Now if you have any questions or you've run into any problems, just go ahead and shoot me a private message or reply on this video. Hopefully you guys like it, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, let's get this video out there. I know a lot of people are wondering how to reach your device, so hopefully this helps. Till then, this is Tyler here from World of Tech, and as we always say here at World of Tech, get plugged in.